Oh, welcome back and uh, blast from the past. Some V visitor figure dolls made by a company called LJN back in the late 80s, I think. Roundabouts when this uh, series came out, I think 1985, 1984, around about that time. And uh, just want to show you these. This is probably the best one I've got in complete condition, and I will be uh, making them into proper custom figures. I've got a Mark Singer head sculpt there, it's made by Bill Kern, very good artist sculptor, and um, yeah, I'll be making a Mark Singer in disguise outfit. I've also got this Robert England head sculpt. If you are familiar with the series, Robert England, the guy that played Freddy, was one of the visitors. A guy called Willie. And uh, this hat is just an action man hat, which I'll be uh, re-sculpting, repainting to look like it did in the uh, show. So I'll probably put that on the, the Donovan, Mark Singer head, cut the hair down so it'll fit, and uh, be putting some glasses on as well, so I might have to mud the hair there to get these on. These are picked up on eBay, they're pretty similar to the ones that were in the show. So I, can give it, I don't really want to take them out because the packaging is a bit of a pain in the ass to get them back in, but they're made by ACI and they are pretty damn spot on. So next time, I could even find the head sculpt, I've been meaning to paint this up for ages but misplaced it. If you're not familiar with the uh, series, I'd uh, definitely recommend checking it out. Uh, I think this was the original mini series that was on, and then you had the final battle. But then I think this series run after it, I'm pretty sure. So it's a bit back to front, but there's plenty of viewing time there. And it's really, um, what's the word? Back in the day, it was, you know, it was quite scary, the concept of it. Now it's quite, I don't know, if you believe in uh, <laughs> conspiracy theories and listen to David Icke, I think he uh, took the show a little bit too seriously, believing that our governments are run by lizards. But you never know. You never know. But um, yeah, I, I really enjoyed it as a kid, I, growing up watching it. And um, yeah, it was quite shocking back then, eating gerbils and mice and stuff. Uh, not me, the actual visitors, the aliens, that was their diet. And uh, <laughs> these figures are really cool. I mean, I've got three of them now. Uh, these two I picked up recently got one more that um, was in pretty good condition but somebody had customised it and put stripes on it. See there, that one's got the tongue action going on as well. Basically the uh, masks are removable, the glasses are removable. I'll try and show you one handedly. There you go. So you can remove the glasses, move the actual um, the face and you've got the green alien underneath little lever at the back and they're really fun figures so I might keep one complete and uh, customise the other two we'll see might try and pick up some more very hard to find and uh, you know usually incomplete or missing the you know the paint off the symbols there that's easy sorted out with a decal from uh, Joe Turner or Evil Face or wherever you get your decals from 
belts come loose at the back of that one. So uh, yeah, I've got the two. I've to repaint that head sculpt and obviously paint that one up and put them on the better bodies. These bodies are a bit rubbish and the boots are a bit rubbish. Uh, the outfit is actually elasticated around the knee joint there, but um, long enough to tuck into a new pair of boots. I've got some uh, nice boots that will work well, like Nazi, um, I think they're made by DID or Dragon, and they're really good. Might redo the belts with uh, real leather, and uh, obviously so you paint up the head sculpts, put them on, put them on better bodies, and uh, yeah. I've only seen a few other people doing them. I don't know if there's a lot of interest in this franchise series anymore, but I think they're great still. And uh, yeah, just thought I'd share them, show you them as they as they come. So there's no real articulation in these bodies. They've got some bend at the knees. The arms are solid. The gun's really nice. I've only got one at the moment, but I am looking to get somebody to cast me a few more up. That'd be nice to do. I'd have loved to have a squadron of these fellas all, you know, having a shootout, faces torn off. I mean, might be able to do something with this head sculpt. It is a little bit small. No, I think it was 8-Bit Commando on Sideshow Freaks had done a sculpt which looked a lot better a lot more in scale a lot more uh, closer to the TV sh TV series <laughs> but yep yeah, you can also pick up this one from uh, Bill Kern and also he does a Michael Ironside sculpt um, so if you are familiar with the series, Michael Ironside was in it. He played, oh, I can't remember his name. Uh, Tyler, I think it is. There he is there with Donovan. Classic pose. <laughs> and there's Mark Donovan there. Or Mike Donov Donovan and Mark Singer, the actor. Still got time, a lot of time for these. Watch these. Now and again, I'll have a, a V fest and just watch the whole lot. Very addictive. Very well done, the, the effects for the time, I think. See there, the uh, rep target is skin ripped off. Pretty cool. Uh, Mike Singer was there. Uh, I don't think he'd done much after this series. Uh, after this, uh, but. He was very good in the role, very uh, over the top, as was the whole show, so I really enjoyed it, so that's why I bought these and why I'm going to fix them up. So I hope you like, I hope you like this little blast in the past, and if you can pick them up and do your own, I'd be really interested to see what you can do. So thanks for watching, until next time. Take it easy.